What's going on, everybody? Spirit vs. Obright, back at it again with Life is Strange. No shit, it needs a password. How about Step Douche? Try again. I need more clues. LOL, Step Douche. Nothing in it. Naturally, David would buy a head. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. <sighs> Try again. Thing to see here. Oh, maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Worst hacker ever. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Nice. There's no way Chloe could put that gun back now. I could try the license number for the password. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. Well, let's try these two. Such wrong. Nope. No way, Max. You broke up. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? David has been dragging his head around since 2001. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. Oh, May 2708 has to be it. Or was it March 27? Oh, anyway. Oh, no, November. My bad. Score. It. Max the Hacker strikes again. Whoa. Spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. Over her chain, Dan W. Talking about supplies for Vortex Club Party. Drugs. Watch Kate with her church group. She knows her Bible. Kate stays in the bathroom longer than other students. Drugs. Saw Kate helping Jefferson at the class. Don't trust no man with goatees. Kate has kept to herself since Vortex Club Party, not even church. Drugs. Tried to talk to Kate about the party. She got upset in her end. This is Guilty. so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. Why does he have my schedule and ID? 
I better tell Chloe about this now. Whoa. Since this is so wrong. Oh, you know you know lock it? Bastard. Hey Matt, so P.O.J. just wanted to thank you for actually giving a shit about me and my mom. He cared about Kate when nobody else did. Thanks Taylor, I know you care too. Not enough to save her, but I'm here anytime if you need to chat. They, oh, that means a lot to me. Talk soon, XO. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody, like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not. Now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Definitely sorry with Chloe. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course, women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David, paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. I won't. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that? Sorry, Proof. I had to step away for a second. Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't. 
can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Alright guys, real quick, I'm sorry to have to end this video really short, but I haven't been feeling good today, so I'm going to have to hop off for a bit before I start the next video. So, once again, sorry for this short video, so stay awesome, stay beautiful, love you guys, and I'll catch y'all later. Hee <laughs> hee!